Hey everyone, welcome back to AFC, Action Figure Captures. In today's video, we have a brand new Lightning Collection figure by Hasbro, which is actually the Silver In Space Ranger. Uh, we have this figure thanks to Greg Snow, who was kind enough to let me borrow it to do this quick review. Uh, and I thought a lot of you might be excited to see this new figure, since he seems to be one of the more popular characters in the series. Uh, so first off, of course, we have the box art, and we've got, of course, the Silver Ranger uh, picture on the side of the box, of course, and then we have the figure itself, and you've got, of course, just the silver suit. He comes with his gun, uh, with his sword, of course, and we also get the alternate head, which uh, looks a little bit like Barney Rubble, in my opinion, but, uh, you know, is what it is, but he's actually pretty cool looking and it's actually quite nice that they actually uh, brought this guy out already and I think it was a surprise for a lot of people because there was no announcement from what we saw about the release of this figure so we're getting kind of a quick early glance at him and we'll open him up and take a look and see what everyone thinks and we'll cover his po uh, posability, his accessories, he comes with a little lightning effect for his weapon and we'll cover uh, the articulation and everything as well Okay guys, here we go. So first we have a quick shot of the back of the box. Of course you have all the legalese and everything as well. You have your Hasbro logo and of course you got a shot of the Silver Ranger in his action pose with his open palm, uh, secondary hand and his uh, saber. Really cool looking figure. Very nicely done by Hasbro. And now let's take a look at the actual figure itself. So in the blister card, we of course have the figure himself. We've got uh, the alternate head with the alternate hands. We've got the weapon. Uh, we've got his lightning accessory. And we've got his blaster as well. So let's get this guy out of the packaging and give you a better look at the actual figure details. So I've gone ahead and swapped out one of the optional hands. You can see that, that he actually has the uh, kind of open palm karate chopping uh, hand there and then you can see he has his blaster of course the blaster is actually nicely done they did some nice paint apps on there as well uh, nicely detailed the sword actually looks really great in the saber mode because it actually has a clear plastic blue blade which is really cool and I'll show you that in just a moment uh, he does come with a closed fist as well but yeah I just wanted to show you that they actually have the alternate uh, chopping hand as well and then you do have again the detail on the blaster here would have been nice if it would have painted the front of the blaster but I mean that can always be photoshopped in after the fact not a big big deal trying to get this guy to focus for us here there we go and yeah it's nicely sculpted nicely done overall um the ab crunch is actually really nice on this guy by the way so if you want to do any real crazy kicking poses or anything you can really get some nice crazy kicking poses out of him uh, so we'll get a couple shots of that i think as well and uh let's get that sword in his hand there we are. So as you can see, it has a nice clear blue plastic for the saber blade. It actually looks really nice. It's well done, very well sculpted and everything. It's actually got some nice details on the weapon and everything. And there we have the pose that's similar to the one in the box there. It's actually got that little action pose with the kind of open palm hand and everything as well. Very cool looking. Uh, really nicely detailed, like I said again. I love these butterfly joints. They're actually extremely articulated. So you can actually really have him go like way back there, put his head up. Get a nice serious action pose out of him there. Really nicely done. Look almost like a dashing pose with the arms way open. Really cool. Uh, very, very nice job by Hasbro on this one. One of the nicer Ranger figures I've seen in a while. And uh, very nicely detailed. And I know this guy was very popular uh, in the series along with the uh, Titanium Ranger and the Phantom Ranger who's also coming out soon as well. And I believe they have pre-orders up on uh, GameStop right now for the Phantom Ranger as well. And uh, this, like I said, this guy was just a surprise, and I was very glad to be able to pick him up for Greg. I wasn't personally interested in getting him, but uh, he was nice enough to allow me to review the figure because he actually was a big fan of this particular character, and I thought it'd be great just to get some photographs of the character for everyone else and to give them a chance to see how the figure looks. So here we have the lightning effect that's actually included with the figure that you can wrap around the weapon and actually get that sort of lightning charge attack effect going. So when he's doing a slashing motion, you get that yellow lightning effect for his attack. Really cool looking. Next, we'll pop on his alternate head so you guys can get a feel for the human head and see what you think. Okay. okay so here we have the uh, human face. Uh, sorry for the bad lighting, guys. I'm trying to reposition the lights as we speak. Uh, a little too bright and badly angled at the moment. Sorry, but 
Just give me a feel for what the head looks like. Uh, I've seen people saying he looks like Flubber from the Beetleborgs. And uh, a little bit like Jay Leno. I, I personally think he looks a bit like Barney Rubble from the uh, Flintstones cartoons. But um, it is nicely sculpted. I don't know if he's actually the most accurate when it comes to the uh, actor's likeness. But um, yeah, it's just... Uh, it's cool they're still including these alternate heads, but I really hope they can kind of go back and get some of these heads looking a little more accurate to the actors' uh, likenesses. They seem to be getting a little off target as of late. But uh, let me know what you guys think down in the description, and if you think they actually did a good job capturing his likeness. And once again, sorry about the bad lighting, guys. Um, I'll attach some photographs with the, uh, the likeness of the figure with the human head on, and you can let me know what you think. Thanks, guys. Anyway, guys, sorry to keep rambling. Let's get these photographs ready for you guys, and you can get a nicer look at this guy and get some uh, better feeling for how detailed he is. They actually did a nice job sculpting him and everything. And this clear silver, like, it's almost like a clearish silver plastic. It's a really cool way to have done it, and I don't know if they've done this on other figures. I haven't really picked up many lightning figures lately, but uh, this one actually is really nicely done, and he's very well detailed. It's very cool. Okay, guys, thanks a lot. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Take care.